Tea Homer Bass Gymnasium as we get ready for ODAC action between the Virginia Wesleyan Marlins and your Roanoke Maroons. Roanoke comes in with a record of 9-13 and 13 overall, 3-7 and seven at home, 5-5 five and five and away, 5-8 and eight in the ODAC Conference. And their leading scorer is Paxton Gwynn at 15.1 points a game, followed by Laurel Hankins at 9.8 points a game, Rachel Delahunt, 5.1 points per game, Kelsey Smith, 8.4 points a game, and Tatum McKee, 8.6 points a game. Those are the starters. And uh, we're going to be back after the National Anthem with more. This is uh, Rona College Women's Basketball. Mac and Bob's opened for business in 1980. Over the years, we've grown from 10 stools to a full-service restaurant that seats 330 people. Now we invite you to come try our new breakfast menu featuring sweet potato pancakes, eggs benedict, omelets made to order, stuffed French toast, homemade sausage and gravy biscuits, and much more. Open for breakfast Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m., Sunday brunch 10 a.m. till 2. See you for breakfast at Mac and Bob's in Salem. Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe, including thick and juicy burgers grilled to perfection, served with fries and your choice of any side item. All Sports Cafe, where the object is to score great food. I'm Shane Beamer. And I'm Frank Beamer for Stop In Food Store. Hey, Dad, I'm going to grab a hot dog. You want one? Sure. Let me give you... It's okay, Dad. I got this one. This week at Stop In, get two all beef hot dogs. Only 99 cents. Get some refreshment with a fountain drink. Any size, just 99 cents. Plus, pay only 99 cents for any size coffee, tea, or icy. Now through Sunday only. All stop-in locations have quality branded gasoline. So stop in and fill up today. Shop where Dad and I shop. Stop in food store. Be sure to catch Roanoke College Sports on Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7, in Roanoke, Salem, Botetourt, Lexington, and Blacksburg. Brought to you by Mac and Bob's Main Street, Salem. For programming information or schedules, go to valleyvisiontv.com. Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe. You'll love our award-winning wings. Grill the perfection with your choice of sauce. Only at All Sports Cafe, Roanoke and Salem, where the object is to score great food. Something I discovered to myself is that if I have a goal, and I can accomplish it. It's a well-rounded experience. At a Division three school, you primarily a student athlete, so the school is really shaped around you developing yourself Brand as a complete individual. Shot, score! A family with your team that can guide you.
Welcome back to Seahomer Bass Gymnasium for today's ODAC game between Virginia Wesleyan and Roanoke. The starters for Virginia Wesleyan, number 11, Andrea Pafidis, a sophomore from Virginia Beach. Number 12, Rachel Miller, a senior from Sterling Park, Virginia. Number 14, Nancy Kelly, a sophomore from Phoenix, Maryland. Number 21, Carrie Leanne Taylor from Stockport, England. And number 24, Brittany Glasgow, a sophomore from Fredericksburg, Maryland. For Roanoke, number 4, Laurel Hankins, a junior from Dublin, Virginia. Number 10, Paxton Gwynn, a junior from Cape Hatteras, Buxton, North Carolina. Number 11, Rachel Delahunt, a senior from Kinderhook, New York. Number 15, Kelsey Smith, a freshman from Harrisonburg, Virginia. Number 20, Tatum McKee, a sophomore from Cornelius, North Carolina. Tip is about to happen. Nancy Kelly is going to go up against Paxton Gwynn. Tap controlled by Paxton Gwynn. Rachel Delahunt gets the ball in the backcourt. She's going to bring it up against no pressure. Over to Tatum McKee. To Paxton Gwynn. Ball off Laurel Hankins. She gets it to Kelsey Smith along the baseline. And Kelsey Smith knocks down a two. And here's a turnover. Nice pressure by Kelsey Smith. And she gets it off to Laurel Hankins. An immediate turnover off the baseline inbound pass. Rachel Delahunt with it, 19.30 remaining first half, 2-0 Roanoke. Kelsey Smith to Rachel Delahunt. Tatum McKee out front, inside Paxton Gwynn, and she gets two. Again, Roanoke with that press. And the ball comes to Brittany Glasgow. Over to Carrie Leanne Taylor, back to Glasgow, up to Profitis. And the shot is off and rebounded defensively by Paxton Gwynn. Here comes Roanoke. Laurel Hankins with it on the wing. In the front court. Tatum McKee out front. Kelsey Smith on the opposite wing. Paxton Gwynn now out front. Over to Rachel Delahunt on the wing. 15 on the shot clock. Laurel Hankins with it out front. Hankins tries to make a move. Loses control. And here comes Virginia Wesleyan. And the layup is good by number 24, Brittany Glasgow. 4-2, Roanoke, 18-36, first half. Rachel Delahunt against pressure in the backcourt. Tatum McKee helps her out. The ladies get the ball across half court. Here's Rachel Delahunt to the corner to Laurel Hankins. 4-3, it's good. 7-2, Roanoke. Here comes Virginia Wesleyan back. Carrie Leanne Taylor and Brittany Glasgow bringing it up. Against Rachel Delahunt and Kelsey Smith. Now they get it to Profitis. And this is Brittany Glasgow. Over to Profitis. Inside to Nancy Kelly. Back to Carrie Leanne Taylor for two. Shots off. Rebounded by Paxton Gwynn. 17-52 remaining first half. 7-2 Roanoke. Gwynn with it in the front court. To Kelsey Smith. Over to Tatum McKee on the wing. Out front, Rachel Delahunt. Over the opposite wing, Laurel Hankins. Inside to Paxton Gwynn, Tatum McKee. Tatum McKee gets a layup. Coach Stephanie Dunmeyer takes a timeout. 9-2 Roanoke, 17-36 remaining first half. It's a full timeout. We're going to take it. This is Roanoke College women's basketball. Join the team and support Roanoke College student-athletes. As a Maroon Club member, you can support the young men and women who represent the college on its athletic teams, in its intramurals, and on club sports. You'll get athletic and recreational team news straight from the coaches, be invited in club events, and receive an official Maroon Club decal. For more information, visit www.roanoke.edu slash maroonclub and become a member of the Maroon Club today. Welcome back to See Homer Bass Gymnasium. 17:36 remaining in the first half. 9-2 Roanoke as the Maroons are off to an excellent start. Paxton Gwynn, Kelsey Smith, Laurel Hankins, and Tatum McKee all in the scoring column. Here comes Brittany Glasgow against Kelsey Smith. She brings it all the way up, leaves it inside for Perfetti. Shot off, rebound Perfetti. Back up and good. Score is 9-4 Roanoke. 17-23 first half. Paxton Gwynn the inbound. Gets it to Tatum McKee against pressure. Back to Rachel Delahunt. Hunt. Here comes Delahunt. Long pass to Kelsey Smith. She's unable to control it. Steps out of bounds on the baseline. Turnover Roanoke. Possession Virginia Wesleyan. 
Katie Tassa and Sarah Seif have entered the game for Virginia Wesleyan. Katie Tassa will inbound. To Glasgow, back to Tassa. Comes to Profides, back to Glasgow. Picked up by Kelsey Smith. Over to Glasgow on the wing. Profides driving. Shot blocked by Tatum McKee. Here's a turnover. Here comes Kelsey Smith. To Paxton Gwynn for three. Long rebound on the floor. It's going to be a jump ball, and this will be possession Virginia Wesleyan. 16-39 remaining first half, 9-4 Roanoke. Neither team has committed a foul. Katie Tassa the inbound for the Marlins. She'll get it to Brittany Glasgow against no pressure. Here they come to the front court. Brittany Glasgow now in the front court. Roanoke in a zone. Nancy Kelly to Sarah Sipe for three. Long. Rebound, battled for, off Tatum McKee. The possession Marlin, 16-25, remaining first half, 9-4. Inbounds pass coming from Sarah Seip. Back to Brittany Glasgow, over to Andrea Profides. Inside, Nancy Kelly makes a move and scores. 9-6, Roanoke, 16-17, remaining first half. Virginia Wesleyan has the pressure on. Rachel Delahunt going to try to bring it up. Pass is tipped away. Delahunt controls. And there's going to be a foul on Virginia Wesleyan. And it's against Sarah Seip. It's her first, team first. Tatum McKee to inbound for Roanoke. Checking into the game for Virginia Wesleyan. Number 10, Simone Newsom. She comes in for Andrea Profides. McKee to inbound to Rachel Delahunt. Delahunt's going to bring it into the front court against Brittany Glasgow. Leaves it for Tatum McKee to the wing to Laurel Hankins. Inside Paxton Gwynn, double team, back out to Hankins. Hankins drives, long off the rim, gets her own rebound, puts it back up and scores. 11-6 Roanoke, 15-47 first half. Here comes Brittany Glasgow for the Marlins into the front court. Roanoke still in the 2-3 zone. Delahunt and Smith out front. McKee, Gwynn, and Hankins in the back. Glasgow with it to, to um, Tassa. Katie Tassa scores a two-pointer. It's 11-8 Roanoke, 15-26 first half. Here comes Laurel Hankins. And she's bumped into steal from Simone Newsom. Tries to get it, and we have a whistle. It's going to be possession Roanoke. Ball out of bounds off Virginia Wesleyan. Tatum McKee to inbound under the Roanoke defensive goal. And Kelsey Smith can't control the pass. Sarah Seip gets a shot up and it's rebounded by Rachel Delahunt. Here comes Delahunt. Tatum McKee's behind her along with Laurel Hankins. Now Roanoke gets into their offense. 15-04 remaining first half. 11-8 Maroons. Hankins gets it on the baseline. To Paxton Gwynn on the wing. Over to Kelsey Smith on the opposite wing. McKee going inside. Banks off the board and scores. Tatum McKee with her second field goal. 13-8 Roanoke. Here comes Brittany Glasgow. Reporting to the scorer's table for the Marlins is Rachel Miller. Simone Newsom has it to Sarah Seip. Over to Glasgow. Marquia Beckwith is at the scorer's table for the Maroons. Along with Kayla Lemke. Newsom out front. Glasgow for three. Long. Rebound Laurel Hankins. 14-25 remaining first half. 13-8 Roanoke. Roanoke possession. Paxton Gwynn out front. Rachel Delahunt on the wing. Kelsey Smith out front. Tatum McKee on the wing. Trying to get it inside to Paxton Gwynn. Ball goes off her hands and is recovered by Sarah Seif of the Marlins. Here comes Virginia Wesleyan. Brittany Glasgow baseline to Katie Tassa to Simone Newsom. Kelsey Smith ties to defend Simone Newsom, and I think she's going to pick up a foul. Nope, this is going to be on Tatum McKee. That's her first, team first. Marquia Beckwith, Megan Goodell, and Kayla Lemke check in for Roanoke. Rachel Miller checks in for the Marlins. 13-58 first half, 13-8 Roanoke. Marlins ball, Simone Newsom inbounding. To Nancy Kelly, 
Shot long. Simone Newsom tries to save the rebound. And Sarah Sipe saves it to Tassa. Rachel Miller for three. Short rebound. Rachel Delahunt. Here comes Roanoke. Delahunt with it. To Marquia Beckwith. Out front to Tatum McKee. Megan Goodell on the wing. Pass gets away. Kayla Lemke controls to Rachel Delahunt. 14 on the shot clock. 13-30 first half. Delahunt. Marquia Beckwith is going to be trolled for traveling as she tried to get her set her feet set to attempt a three. Checking in for Virginia Wesleyan, number 20, Kelly Jones, and number 32, Casey Conley. Actually, I think that's Cassie Conley. My apologies. And bounded by Katie Tassa to Rachel Miller. Here comes Virginia Wesleyan. Rachel Delahunt picks up Rachel Miller. And the shot is attempted short. And a foul is called as Tatum McKee gets a defensive rebound. Kelly Jones attempted the shot. And that foul is on Cassie Conley. It's her first. Team second. 13-8 Roanoke. 13-12 remaining first half. Virginia Wesleyan with their second team foul. Roanoke has one. Tatum McKee inbounding to Kayla Lemke. Back to McKee. Tatum McKee is going to try to bring it up. And Tatum McKee now gets in the front court against Katie Tassa. Kayla Lemke on the wing. Rachel Delahunt out front. Back over to Marquia Beckwith. Megan Goodell for three. Actually, that's Tatum McKee. I keep getting McKee's uh, jersey number mixed up. So Tatum McKee now has seven points in the first half. 16-8 Roanoke, 12-44. Marlin ball. Here comes Katie Tassa. Rachel Miller for three. Long. Kayla Lemke misses the box out. Simone Newsom gets the offensive rebound for Virginia Wesleyan. Nice defense by Rachel Delahunt as she gets her hand on the ball. It's out off of Rachel Delahunt. It'll be a Marlin inbound. Cassie Conley inbounds to Simone Newsom to Katie Tassa. And there's a shot inside by the Marlins. Number 32. And that's Cassie Conley with the bucket. 16-10. 12-21, first half, 16-10 Maroons. Tatum McKee now has it in the front court to Marquia Beckwith. Rachel Delahunt on the wing to Megan Goodell. Kayla Lemke on the wing. She dribbles, leaves it out front for Delahunt. Over to Tatum McKee on the wing. Ten on the shot clock. McKee to Marquia Beckwith. And Marquia Beckwith can't decide what she's going to do with the ball and travels. Paxton Gwynn re-enters the game for the Maroons. 12 minutes even, remaining first half, 16-10. Roanoke, and number 21, Carrie Leanne Taylor, re-enters the lineup for the Marlins, and she will inbound to Rachel Miller. Here come the Marlins. Rachel Delahunt is going to pick up Rachel Miller. To Simone Newsom. To Carrie Leanne Taylor. Simone Newsom with it. Back to Carrie Leanne Taylor. Newsom out front, picked up by Kayla Lemke. Inside, 10 on the shot clock. Carrie Leanne Taylor with a three that goes in. 16-13, Roanoke over the Marlins. 11-33, first half. Paxton Gwynn gets a breakaway layup. 18-13, Maroons. 11-25, first half. Here comes Rachel Miller. Nice inbound play by Roanoke as they went long to Paxton Gwynn, who got an uncontested layup. Megan Goodell picks up the man-to-man defense. Simone Newsom now with it against Kayla Lemke. Carry Leanne Taylor for three. Long rebound. Nice box out. Megan Goodell. Here comes Marquia Beckwith. Approaching 11 minutes. First half, 18-13 Roanoke. Kayla Lemke has it out front to Rachel Delahunt on the wing. Now Paxton Gwynn out front. 15 on the shot clock. Megan Goodell lets a three go. It's short. Goes out of bounds. Off the Maroons, Marlin possession. Re-entering the lineup for the Marlins, number 11, Andrea Pafidis. Along with number 14, Nancy Kelly. 10.47 remaining first half, 18-13 Maroons. Marlins to inbound. Carrie Leanne Taylor to Andrea Pafidis. Up to Nancy Kelly. Block's going to be called on Megan Goodell as she tried to draw a charge on Nancy Kelly on the baseline. Along the sideline there. Carrie Leanne Taylor's going to inbound it for 
Virginia Wesleyan. That's Megan Goodell's first foul and Roanoke's team second of the first half. Rachel Miller brings it across half court for the Marlins. Two profitis. Inside to carry Leanne Taylor. Gets it to Nancy Kelly and she turns and scores. 18-15 Maroons. 10-28 first half. Rachel Delahunt brings the ball into the front court for the Maroons. Across court. Kayla Lipke drives to the goal. Layup. Good. Kayla Lipke find an open baseline. Took the path to the basket and scored. Carrie Leanne Taylor inbounds to Rachel Miller. 10-10 remaining first half. 20-15 Maroons. There's an attempted three from the corner from the Marlins. Offensive rebound knocked away by Kayla Lemke, and she possesses. Here come the Maroons. Lemke all the way to the goal and scores. Virginia Wesleyan did not stop ball. Here's a 30-second timeout from the Marlins. Coming out of the timeout, Tatum McKee, Kelsey Smith, and Laurel Hankins will return to the lineup. 9.55 remaining first half. 22-15 Maroons. Kayla Lemke with an excellent play there. Actually about a 90-foot drive as nobody for the Marlins stopped the ball. And Kayla Lemke took it all the way for a layup. When we come back to play, the Virginia Wesleyan Marlins have four timeouts left for the contest. Each team has two team fouls. 9.55 remaining first half. 22-15 Maroons. Tatum McKee has seven points. Paxton Gwynn has four. Laurel Hankins with three. As the first buzzer has rung for the 30-second timeout, and the Marlins have retaken the floor. Re-entering the lineup during that timeout for the Marlins is number 20, Kelly Jones. Brittany Glasgow is going to... Received the inbounds pass from Kelly Leanne Taylor, and here comes Glasgow. Roanoke back in his zone. Hannah Ward also in the contest for the Maroons. Andrea Perfidi's out front. There's a three. It's off. Nice box out. Rebound. Laurel Hankins controlled by Paxton Gwynn. Here comes Tatum McKee. Got too far under the basket and hit the underside of the backboard. We have a whistle. And we have a foul on the Marlins. And that's going to be on Kelly Jones. That's her first, team third. And Tatum McKee will be at the line for two foul shots for the Maroons. McKee, first one good. 23-15 Maroons, 9-34 remaining first half. Tatum McKee has one more. Second one is also good. 24-15 Maroons. And here comes Brittany Glasgow against Hannah Ward. Glasgow to the front court. There's Carrie Leanne Taylor back to Glasgow. Glasgow takes a two and scores. 24-17. Roanoke, 9-17 first half. Here comes Kelsey Smith. Over to Laurel Hankins on the wing. Out front to Tatum McKee. Over to Paxton Gwynn. Over to Hannah Ward. Hannah Ward takes a baseline drive. She's cut off and she travels. Checking into the contest for the Marlins, Simone Newsom and Sarah Seip come back into the contest for Profitis and number 20, Kelly Jones. Kelly, Carrie Leanne Taylor inbounds to Newsom, back to Carrie Leanne Taylor, over to Nancy Kelly, back to Taylor. Roanoke in a half court press that time. Now Brittany Glasgow has it in the front court for the Marlins. 8.50 remaining first half, 24 17 Maroons. Laurel Hankins trying to defend that pass. It goes all the way into Simone Newsom, and she makes a short two. So it's 24-19, Maroons, 8.38 first half, as Simone Newsom gets a two. Paxton Gwynn brings it in the front court. Kelsey Smith with a two, long. Rebound tapped out to Sarah Sipe of the Marlins. Here come the Marlins. Sarah Sipe now in front court to Simone Newsom, to Carrie Leanne Taylor. Brittany Glasgow, Taylor for three. Long rebound, Tatum McKee. And Tatum McKee is going to bring it up. 8.08 first half, 24-19 Maroons. Hannah Ward in the front court on the wing. Inside, Paxton Gwynn turns and is fouled. Misses the shot. And it's going to be on Kelly Taylor. It's her first. Fourth team foul on the Marlins. Paxton Gwynn will be at the line for two. 8-0-1 remaining first half. Gwynn's first foul shot is good. 
25-19 Maroons. Back into the lineup for the Marlins, number three, Katie Tassa. Paxton Gwynn has one more. Second foul shot. Good. Gwynn now with six. 26-19 Maroons. Eight minutes first half. Here comes Brittany Glasgow against Hannah Ward. And now Virginia Wesleyan has it in the front court. Sarah Sipe on the wing. In to Simone Newsom. Brittany Glasgow for three. Short. Rebound. Tapped around. Controlled by Sarah Sipe. And Paxton Gwynn gets the pass from Sarah Sipe as she tried to save it in bounds. Here comes Gwynn. Front court for Roanoke. Megan Goodell on the wing. Drives to the basket. And we have a basket and a foul. Megan Goodell. And I'm sorry. Again, I've done it. That's Tatum McKee. To Tatum McKee's parents, one of her mothers here. Thank goodness she can't hear this broadcast, at least from the original. Tatum McKee now with nine points, an excellent first half. As she draws the foul and makes the layup, her foul shot is good. 29-19 Maroon, 7-30 first half. Here comes Brittany Glasgow. Simone Newsom with it to Brittany Glasgow. The Marlins are now in the front court. Katie Tassa to Glasgow. The Marlins are running a weave. Simone Newsom now on the wing to Sarah Sipe, picked up by Kelsey Smith. She drives, defended by Paxton Gwynn, and she makes the two-pointer anyway. 29-21, steal on a full-court press by the Marlins. Katie Tassa put up a quick shot. Tatum McKee gets the rebound. Here comes the Maroons. Tatum McKee in the front court. They didn't stop ball. Tatum McKee takes a two, rolls off. Paxton Gwynn battles for the rebound, goes out of bounds off Gwynn. 6.53 remaining first half, 29-21. We're going to have a timeout. It's going to be a full because it's a media. When we come back, D.J. Wilson and Rachel Delahunt re re-enter the lineup for the Maroons. 29-21 Maroons, 6.53 first half. This is Roanoke College women's basketball. Is that if I have a goal, and I can accomplish it. The well-rounded experience. At a Division three school, you were primarily a student athlete, so the School is really shaped around you developing yourself as a complete individual. Around, short it steps helps left a lot shot, that score! you have a family with your team that can guide you. Welcome back to the C. Homer Bass Gymnasium as we've just honored class of 1995 Susan Brown Nye who was a lacrosse player and women's basketball player for Coach Dunnigan. I saw Susan play all four years. Nice little point guard to have on your team. And we also, earlier today, honored Kerry McConnell, class of 2000. And Kerry McConnell uh, had a great four-year career, and she deserves a special mention because Kerry McConnell blew out both of her knees in her junior year. And she had double knee surgery and came back and played her senior year, folks. And people don't do that. And they certainly didn't do that then. And also an original member of one of Susan Dunnigan's teams, Ann Harwood. Katie Tassa inbounds the ball to Brittany Glasgow. Very briefly, Ann Harwood also played in high school for Coach Dunnigan at Cave Springs. So she's one of the original members of Coach Dunnigan's classes. Brittany Glasgow with it out front. Simone Newsom on the wing. 6.37 remaining first half. Brittany Glasgow to Simone Newsom to Sarah Sipe for three, and it's good. 29-24, the Maroons, and now they possess the ball, and Wesleyan is pressing. Laurel Hankins inbounds to Rachel Delahunt. They have Delahunt in the corner, and they steal the ball. Simone Newsom to Sarah Sipe for two. Good. Timeout, Coach Dunnigan. She takes a 30. Score is 29-26, 6-14 remaining first half. When we come back to action, Virginia Wesleyan has five team fouls this half, and Roanoke has two. Roanoke has five timeouts left for the contest, and Virginia Wesleyan has four. Roanoke with a three-point lead, 29-26. Tatum McKee with an excellent first half, as she's already in double figures. The Marlins have retaken the floor. We've had the first horn. Tatum McKee, Rachel Delahunt, D.J. Wilson, Kelsey Smith, and Laurel Hankins retake the floor for the Maroons. Hankins to inbound. 
Going long for Tatum McKee. Pass is intercepted by Nancy Kelly. And another turnover for the Maroons. And here's Brittany Glasgow to Sarah Sipe for three. It's good. We got a tie game. 29-29. Sarah Sipe has Virginia Wesleyan's last eight points. Paxton Gwynn is back at the scorer's table for the Maroons. Kelsey Smith is bringing the ball to the front court for the Maroons. Ball is stolen away on a half-court trap. Now it's a jump ball. Katie Tassa and Kelsey Smith. Possession Roanoke. Coming into the lineup, Marquia Beckwith and Paxton Gwynn. Along with Tatum, Tatum McKee. And returning to the lineup for the Marlins is Cassie Conley. Tatum McKee is going to inbound the ball for the Maroons. And we have an issue at the scorer's table that the officials are taking up. Score is tied at 29, 550 remaining first half. I think they were asking about possession that time. Resetting the shot clock to 24. Here's Tatum McKee to Marquia Beckwith. Roanoke in the front court. Marquia Beckwith trying to get around Simone Newsom. Laurel Hankins with it. Roanoke running a weave. Rachel Delahunt out front to Marquia Beckwith. Beckwith drives and scores. 31-29 Roanoke. 5-30 first half as Marquia Beckwith hits a layup. Here comes Virginia Wesleyan. Sarah Seip trying to leave it inside. Ball tipped away. Taken by Tatum McKee in the corner. Here comes Roanoke. We're going to have a double dribble on Tatum McKee. As she tried to double... She tried to dribble the ball with two hands while trying to control it. Anna Carter has checked into the game for Roanoke. Freshman. Also plays soccer in the fall. Katie Tassa inbounds to Brittany Glasgow. 5-19 remaining first half. 31-29 Maroons. Glasgow drives all the way to the hole and scores as Roanoke didn't stop ball that time. Here comes Laurel Hankins. Roanoke has the ball in the front court to Paxton Gwynn. To Anna Carter on the wing. Rachel Delahunt comes out front and receives a pass. Man-to-man pressure for Virginia Wesleyan. Gwynn takes a three. Long. Rebound Sarah Sipe Marlins. Here comes the sophomore. Sarah Sipe all the way to the goal. Shot short. Rebound Katie Tassa. Tips it over, and now Simone Newsom has it. Sarah Sipe for three. Good. The score is 34-31, Virginia Wesleyan, and Coach Dunnigan has taken another 30-second timeout. So both teams now have four timeouts remaining for the contest. Defensive pressure from Virginia Wesleyan, giving the Maroons problems. 34-31 now, Virginia Wesleyan. Virginia Wesleyan has five team fouls in the first half, and Roanoke has two. Roanoke plays Hollins in their final road game of the season on Tuesday over at Hollins. Of course, that's here in the same valley. And next Saturday is Senior Day as they'll take on the Bridgewater Eagles at 2 p.m. and celebrate the careers of Hannah Davison and Rachel Delahunt. Anna Carter is going to inbound the ball for the Maroons as we come back to action. She inbounds to Marquia Beckwith against Simone Newsom. And Marquia is going to bring it up. Now in the front court. To Rachel Delahunt. To Laurel Hankins. Gwynn out front. To Anna Carter on the wing. 12 on the shot clock. Anna Carter drives. Puts it up. Draws a foul. Foul is on Katie Tassa. That's her second, team six team foul. Anna Carter is going to be at the line shooting two, 4.15 remaining first half. Nancy Kelly reports to the scorer's table for the Marlins to check back in. Anna Carter's first foul shot rolls in, 34-32 Marlins. Nancy Kelly comes back into the game for Katie Tassa. Anna Carter with one more foul shot. Into the game for Roanoke. Beckwith, Gwynn, Carter, Hankins, and Delahunt. Anna Carter makes her second foul shot. 34-33. Here comes Brittany Glasgow. Marquia Beckwith against Glasgow, and she goes right around her and lays it up. 36-33 Marlins. Here comes Laurel Hankins to the front court. 
Anna Carter out front. Marquia Beckwith on the wing. Paxton Quinn inside. Gets a layup and scores. Paxton Quinn with her eighth point of the first half. 36-35. Marlins. 347 in the running first half. Brittany Glasgow brings it up. Inside to Nancy Kelly, and she drew a foul on Paxton Gwynn. That's going to be Roanoke's third team foul. Nancy Kelly will be at the line for two, and it's Paxton Gwynn's first foul of the ball game. 341 remaining first half. Nancy Kelly's first foul shot. Rolls out. Checking into the game for the Maroons, Kayla Lemke and Tatum McKee. Laurel Hankins and Anna Carter go out. Nancy Kelly takes her second. That one's good. 37-35, Virginia Wesleyan. 3.40, first half. Here comes Tatum McKee around everybody. Gets inside, shoots an air ball. Rebound Simone Newsom. Newsom's going to bring it all the way back. And we have the ball. I think it's off of Kayla Lemke and will be a Marlin possession underneath. Hard to see around eight people. Brittany Glasgow to Sarah Sipe for three. Hits the side of the backboard. Rebound Paxton Gwynn to Tatum McKee. Here comes Rachel Delahunt. She's now in the front, front court. 317 first half. 37-35 Marlins. Tatum McKee out front. To Paxton Gwynn out front. Over to Kayla Lemke. Leaves it for Rachel Delahunt. Delahunt takes one from the wing. Long tries to get her own rebound. Rebounded by Brittany Glasgow. Glasgow bringing it back. Roanoke having trouble stopping the ball. Sarah Sipe in the corner. Simone Newsom outside for three. Short. Rebound. Newsom battles for it. We have a jump ball. Possession Marlins. 37-35 Marlins. 2.45 first half. Into the lineup for Roanoke. Number 25, Megan Goodell. Into the lineup for Virginia Wesley, number 11, Andrea Perfides, and number 20, Kelly Jones. Jones is going to inbound the ball for the Marlins to Perfides. Inside, Nancy Kelly, knocked away by Rachel Delahunt. Picked up by Marquia Beckwith. Here come the Maroons. Rachel Delahunt running. She loses the ball to Brittany Glasgow. Here comes the Marlins back after that turnover. Marquia Beckwith briefly knocks it away from Brittany Glasgow. Here's Kelly Jones out front to Brittany Glasgow, 224 remaining first half. Andrea Perfides walks. Hannah Ward is going to check in the game for the Maroons. And she'll get Rachel Delahunt. Rachel Miller re-enters the lineup for the Marlins for Brittany Glasgow. Tatum McKee to inbound in front of the Roanoke bench. She gets it to Hannah Ward. Here comes Hannah Ward. She's now in the front court. Gets the ball, tries to pass it in the corner. Pass knocked away, out of bounds. Going to be inbounded by Roanoke. 2-11 remaining first half, 37-35 Marlins. 20 on the shot clock, Tatum McKee to inbound. Inbounds to Marquia Beckwith on the baseline. Beckwith for three, long, rebound. Comes to number 32, Cassie Conley for the Marlins. Here comes Rachel Miller against Hannah Ward. Inside, back out now, Kelly Jones. Paxton wins at the scorer's table for the Maroons. Nice defense there by Kayla Lemke as she forces a loose ball. This is a jump ball, and it's going to be possession Maroons. 146 remaining first half. Paxton Gwynn is going to reenter the contest with Laurel Hankins. Coming out, Marquia Beckwith. And Megan Goodell, 146 remaining first half. Kelly Leanne Taylor re-enters for Virginia Wesleyan. And she gets Kelly Jones. Laurel Hankins to inbound. Long pass to Tatum McKee. She might have a layup. She does. Tatum McKee ties the game at 37. 140 remaining first half. Roanoke has successfully run that play twice. Here comes Rachel Miller to the front court for the Marlins. Andrea Perfides. There's Rachel Miller for three. Short. Rebound, Paxton Gwynn. Here comes Roanoke. 120 remaining first half. 
Hannah Ward in the front court. Tatum McKee on the wing. Paxton Gwynn. Tatum McKee. Inside, Paxton Gwynn. Hannah Ward. Three-pointer. Long. Rebound. Virginia Wesleyan. Nancy Kelly grabs the rebound. Gets it to Rachel Miller. One minute remaining first half. Score tied at 37. 20 seconds on the shot clock as Rachel Miller confers with her coach, Stephanie Dunmire. And they try to run a play inside. We're going to get a hold on Roanoke. 47.5 remaining in the first half. Kayla Lemke draws the foul. Team foul number four of the first half. Profides to Nancy Kelly. Kelly takes a two. And we have a charging foul on Nancy Kelly. Drawn by Tatum McKee. 44 and a half seconds remaining in the first half. Kayla, Laurel Hankins to inbound to Tatum McKee. Here comes McKee. Through the defense. To Kayla Lemke. Leaves his Lemke with a screen. Ball knocked away. Going to be inbounded on the baseline for the Maroons. Score tied at 37. 36.2 remaining in the first half. Tatum McKee to inbound. 22 on the shot clock. Paxton Gwynn tries to get it, does so, leaves it for Hannah Ward. Hannah Ward dribbling in the lane, leaves it for Laurel Hankins. Hankins with a two, short. Rebound, Rachel Miller. To Andrea Perfides, 20 seconds remaining first half. Score tied at 37, Virginia Wesleyan in the front court. They get it inside, knocked away by Laurel Hankins. Here comes Tatum McKee. McKee tries a wild shot layup, rebounded by Rachel Miller. Seven seconds remaining first half. There's a three from Kelly Leanne Taylor that goes in. 40 to 37 Marlins at half. Great play on the Marlins part to end the half. 40 to 37 Marlins going into the half. And that's the way we're going to leave it. We'll have halftime stats in the second half action in just a while. This is Roanoke College Women's Basketball. Roanoke College Athletics would like to thank its corporate sponsors. Mac and Boz, All Sports, Stop In Food Stores, Dairy Queen, Chick-fil-A, Service Master, and the Roanoke College Bookstore. Join the team and support Roanoke College student-athletes. As a Maroon Club member, you can support the young men and women who represent the college on its athletic teams, in its intramurals, and on club sports. You'll get athletic and recreational team news straight from the coaches, be invited in club events, and receive an official Maroon Club decal. For more information, visit www.roanoke.edu slash maroonclub and become a member of the Maroon Club today. Roanoke College Timeless and true, smart and solid, practical and professional, making discoveries about yesterday, creating visions for tomorrow, lifted by a winning college spirit, forging lifetime friendships with professors who prepare you for a place at the head of an operating table or another bright future. Roanoke College, classic for tomorrow. Mac and Bob's opened for business in 1980. Over the years, we've grown from 10 stools to a full-service restaurant that seats 330 people. Now we invite you to come try our new breakfast menu featuring sweet potato pancakes, eggs benedict, omelets made to order, stuffed French toast, homemade sausage and gravy biscuits, and much more. Open for breakfast Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m., Sunday brunch 10 a.m. till 2. See you for breakfast at Mac and Bob's in Salem. Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe, including thick and juicy burgers grilled to perfection, served with fries and your choice of any side item. All Sports Cafe, where the object is to score great food. I'm Shane Beamer. And I'm Frank Beamer for Stop In Food Store. Hey, Dad, I'm going to grab a hot dog. You want one? Sure. Let me give you... It's okay, Dad. I got this one. This week at Stop In, get two all-beef hot dogs, only 99 cents. Get some refreshment with a fountain drink. Any size, just 99 cents. Plus, pay only 99 cents for any size coffee, tea, or icy. Now through Sunday only. All stop-in locations have quality branded gasoline. So stop in and fill up today. Shop where Dad and I shop. 
Stop in food stores. Be sure to catch Roanoke College Sports on Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7, in Roanoke, Salem, Botata, Lexington, and Blacksburg. Brought to you by Mac and Bob's Main Street, Salem. For programming information or schedules, go to valleyvisiontv.com. Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe. You'll love our award-winning wings. Grill the perfection with your choice of sauce. Only at All Sports Cafe, Roanoke and Salem, where the object is to score great food. Something I discovered in myself is that if I have a goal, then I can accomplish it. The well-rounded experience. At a Division three school, you primarily a student athlete, so the school is really shaped around you developing. A family with your team that can guide you. For information or schedules on Valley Vision TV programs, visit us on the internet at valleyvisiontv.com. Remember, you're watching the Valley's only true local network. Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7. If you would like to sponsor this program or advertise on Valley Vision TV, call us at 540-397-1051 or email to sales at valleyvisiontv.com. Remember, you're watching the Valley's only true local network, Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7. Roanoke College Athletics would like to thank its corporate sponsors. Mac and Bob's. All Sports, Stop In Food Stores, Dairy Queen, Chick-fil-A, Service Master, and the Roller College Bookstore. Join the team and support Roanoke College student-athletes. As a Maroon Club member, you can support the young men and women who represent the college on its athletic teams, in its intramurals, and on club sports. You'll get athletic and recreational team news straight from the coaches. Be invited in club events and receive an official Maroon Club decal. For more information, visit www.roanoke.edu slash maroonclub and become a member of the Maroon Club today. Roanoke College. Timeless and true. Smart and solid. Practical and professional. Making discoveries about yesterday. Creating visions for tomorrow. Lifted by a winning college spirit. Forging lifetime friendships with professors who prepare you for a place at the head of an operating table or another bright future. Roanoke College. Classic for tomorrow. Mac and Bob's opened for business in 1980. Over the years, we've grown from 10 stools to a full-service restaurant that seats 330 people. Now we invite you to come try our new breakfast menu featuring sweet potato pancakes, eggs benedict, omelets made to order, stuffed French toast, homemade sausage and gravy biscuits, and much more. Open for breakfast Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m. Sunday brunch, 10 a.m. till 2. See you for breakfast at Mac and Bob's in Salem. Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe, including thick and juicy burgers grilled to perfection, served with fries and your choice of any side item. All Sports Cafe, where the object is to score great food. I'm Shane Beamer. And I'm Frank Beamer for Stop In Food Store. Hey, Dad, I'm going to grab a hot dog. You want one? Sure. Let me give you... It's okay, Dad. I got this one. This week at Stop In, get two all beef hot dogs, only 99 cents. Get some refreshment with a fountain drink. Any size, just 99 cents. Plus, pay only 99 cents for any size coffee, tea, or icy. Now through Sunday only. All stop-in locations have quality branded gasoline. So stop in and fill up today. Shop where Dad and I shop. Stop in food stores. Be sure to catch Roanoke College Sports on Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7, in Roanoke, Salem, Botata, Lexington, and Blacksburg. Brought to you by Mac and Bob's Main Street, Salem. For programming information or schedules, go to valleyvisiontv.com. 
Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe. You'll love our award-winning wings. Grill the perfection with your choice of sauce. Only at All Sports Cafe, Roanoke and Salem, where the object is to score great food. Something I discovered in myself is that if I have a goal, then I can accomplish it. The well-rounded experience. At a Division three school, you primarily a student athlete, so the school is really shaped around you developing yourself as a complete individual. Shot, score! A family with your team that can guide you. For information or schedules on Valley Vision TV programs, visit us on the Internet at valleyvisiontv.com. Remember, you're watching the Valley's only true local network, Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7. If you would like to sponsor this program or advertise on Valley Vision TV, call us at 540-397-1051 or email to sales at valleyvisiontv.com. Remember, you're watching the Valley's only true local network, Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7. Roanoke College Athletics would like to thank its corporate sponsors, Mac and Bods, All Sports, Stop In Food Stores, Dairy Queen, Chick-fil-A, Service Master, and the Roanoke College Bookstore. Join the team and support Roanoke College student-athletes. As a Maroon Club member, you can support the young men and women who represent the college on its athletic teams, in its intramurals, and on club sports. You'll get athletic and recreational team news straight from the coaches, be invited in club events, and receive an official Maroon Club decal. For more information, visit www.roanoke.edu slash maroonclub and become a member of the Maroon Club today. Roanoke College. Timeless and true. Smart and solid. Practical and professional. Making discoveries about yesterday. Creating visions for tomorrow. Lifted by a winning college spirit. Forging lifetime friendships with professors who prepare you for a place at the head of an operating table or another bright future. Roanoke College. Classic for tomorrow. Mac and Bob's opened for business in 1980. Over the years, we've grown from 10 stools to a full-service restaurant that seats 330 people. Now we invite you to come try our new breakfast menu featuring sweet potato pancakes, eggs benedict, omelets made to order, stuffed French toast, homemade sausage and gravy biscuits, and much more. Open for breakfast Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m., Sunday brunch 10 a.m. till 2. See you for breakfast at Mac and Bob's in Salem. Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe, including thick and juicy burgers grilled to perfection, served with fries and your choice of any side item. All Sports Cafe, where the object is to score great food. I'm Shane Beamer. And I'm Frank Beamer for Stop In Food Store. Hey, Dad, I'm going to grab a hot dog. You want one? Sure. Let me give you... It's okay, Dad. I got this one. This week at Stop In, get two all beef hot dogs, only 99 cents. Get some refreshment with a fountain drink. Any size, just 99 cents. Plus, pay only 99 cents for any size coffee, tea, or icy. Now through Sunday only. All stop-in locations have quality branded gasoline. So stop in and fill up today. Shop where Dad and I shop. Stop in food stores. Be sure to catch Roanoke College Sports on Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7, in Roanoke, Salem, Botetourt, Lexington, and Blacksburg. Brought to you by Mac and Bob's Main Street, Salem. For programming information or schedules, go to valleyvisiontv.com. Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe. You'll love our award-winning wings. Grill the perfection with your choice of sauce. Only at All Sports Cafe, Roanoke and Salem, where the object is to score great food. Something I discovered in myself is that if I have a goal, then I can accomplish it. The well-rounded experience. At a Division three school, you primarily a student athlete, so the school is really shaped around you developing yourself Brands as a complete individual. Shot, score! A 
family, with your team that can guide you. Gymnasium halftime score is 40 to 37 Virginia Wesleyan. Some halftime stats: Andrea Profides of uh, Virginia Wesleyan has two points, one assist. Rachel Miller didn't score. Nancy Kelly has five points for Virginia Wesleyan. Carrie Leanne Taylor has six. Brittany Glasgow eight. Katie Tassa two. Simone Newsom two. Sarah Sipe with 13 and Cassie Conley with two. Virginia Wesleyan was 17 of 37 in the first half for 45.9 percent, five of 18 from three for 27.8 percent, and one of two from the foul line for 50 percent. Orono College: Laurel Hankins five points, Paxton Gwynn eight, Kelsey Smith two, Tatum McKee excellent first half 14, Kayla Lemke four, Marquia Beck with two, Anna Carter two. Roanoke was 14 of 26 in the first half for 53.6 percent. Two of seven from three for 28.6 percent, and seven of seven for the foul line for 100 percent. Even I can do that math. So we come back for the second half as we've got one minute left in halftime activities. Tatum McKee was five for eight in the first half as part of her 14 points. This is a big alumni event for Roanoke College, both the women's and men's. The men are going to play against Shenandoah following this contest. To inbound the ball for the Marlins to start the second half will be Carrie Leanne Taylor, and she's going to inbound it to Brittany Glasgow. Virginia Wesleyan will be playing offense in front of me and in front of their own bench in the second half. Here comes Brittany Glasgow against Kelsey Smith as we're underway. On the wing to Rachel Miller. Back to Glasgow. To Andrea Perfides. Kelly Leanne Taylor. Back to Perfides. Nancy Kelly inside over Paxton Gwynn. Shots off. Rebound Paxton Gwynn. Paxton Gwynn got hit in the thigh that time. He's a little slow coming up court. Tatum McKee with it out front. To Kelsey Smith, back to Rachel Delahunt. Laurel Hankins with a shot fake, looks for a two. Nice pass to Rachel Delahunt, shot blocked by Brittany Glasgow, out of bounds off of Rachel Delahunt. Megan Goodell in the game for Paxton Gwynn, as Paxton Gwynn, I think, took a shot on that first defensive possession for the Maroons in the second half, and she's a bit sore. Here comes Brittany Glasgow. Score is 40 37 Marlins, 19 11 remaining second half. Glasgow again, all the way to the basket. Nice defense by Megan Goodell. She knocked the ball away. Here comes Tatum McKee. There's a foul drawn by Rachel Delahunt on Brittany Glasgow. That's her first, team first for the Marlins in the second half, and Delahunt's going to be at the line for two. 18-57 remaining second half. Della Hunt's first is good. 40 to 38, Marlins. Rachel Della Hunt will have one more. Second one is good. 40 to 39, Marlins. Roanoke again, perfect in the foul line. Now nine for nine. Brittany Glasgow brings it up. To Rachel Miller, 
to Kelly Leanne Taylor, to Perfides, Andrea Perfides. Ball knocked away on the inside again by Roanoke. Megan Goodell comes up with it. Here's Laurel Hankins in the forecourt, front court for the Maroons. Tatum McKee with a three, long. Rebounded by Brittany Glasgow. Here come the Marlins. Glasgow with it to Andrea Perfides, back to Glasgow, to Carrie Leanne Taylor, and the ball is passed. Brittany Glasgow and out of bounds, turnover. Roanoke possesses, inbounded by Tatum McKee. Here comes Sarah Seif to check in for the Marlins. And she comes in for Brittany Glasgow. Tatum McKee to inbound to Kelsey Smith to Rachel Delahunt. Here comes Rachel Delahunt. She's now in the front court for the Maroons. Tatum McKee with it to the baseline to Megan Goodell. Tries to get it inside to Laurel Hankins who turns and scores. 41-40 Roanoke. Timeout and it's going to be immediate. It's going to be a full because it's the first of the second half. It's for Virginia Wesley. They'll have three remaining. We're going to take it. This is Roanoke College women's basketball. Roanoke College. Timeless and true. Smart and solid. Practical and professional. Making discoveries about yesterday creating visions for tomorrow, lifted by a winning college spirit, forging lifetime friendships with professors who prepare you for a place at the head of an operating table or another bright future. Roanoke College, classic for tomorrow. Welcome back to see Homer Bass Gymnasium. Score is 41-40 Roanoke. Virginia Wesleyan has committed one team foul this half. Roanoke yet to commit a foul. Roanoke is 9 for 9 this afternoon from the foul line. Those uh, free throws are very important as Roanoke has a one-point lead. This was a media timeout, so we kind of stretched it out here. Virginia Wesleyan retakes the floor. And here comes Roanoke. On the floor for Roanoke, Kelsey Smith, Laurel Hankins, Tatum McKee, Megan Goodell, and Rachel Delahunt. Kelly Leanne Taylor has inbounded the ball for Virginia Wesleyan, and now she receives the pass in the front court and gets it back to Rachel Miller. Katie Tassler reports to the scorer's table to check in, and on a pick and roll, a layup is scored by Sarah Seif. So the Marlins retake the lead at 42-41, 17-33 remaining second half. Here comes Rachel Delahunt to Tatum McKee. Ball knocked away by Andrea Perfides. Out of bounds, inbounded by Roanoke. Checking into the game for the Marlins is Simone Newsom and Katie Tassa for Kelly Leanne Taylor and Andrea Perfides. Laurel Hankins inbounds to Rachel Delahunt in the front court. To Megan Goodell. Drives. Leaves it too hard off the backboard. Rebounded by Rachel Delahunt, and she puts it back in. Nice offensive rebound by Rachel Delahunt. Roanoke takes a one-point lead. Simone Newsom has the ball. Back to Katie Tassa. And she brings it across the front court. Knocked away by Tatum McKee to Laurel Hankins. Nice steal by Tatum McKee. Rachel Delahunt on the wing in the front court. Tatum McKee out front. 43-42, 16-50 remaining second half. Ball tapped away off of the Marlins. Inbounded by Roanoke. 15 on the shot clock. Tatum McGee to inbound from the sideline right in front of the Roanoke bench. Returning to the lineup for the Marlins, number 24, Brittany Glasgow for Rachel Miller. McGee to inbound. She does so. Kelsey Smith with it on the wing. Looks for Rachel Delahunt. Ball taken by Brittany Glasgow, and it's going to be a foul on Rachel Delahunt. That'll be Roanoke's team first of the second half. That's Rachel Delahunt's first personal foul. Simone Newsom is going to inbound the ball from the sideline for the Marlins, and she'll inbound it to Brittany Glasgow. 
16-37 remaining second half. 43-42 Roanoke. Here's Simone Newsom on the wing. Knocked away by Megan Goodell. Picked off by Tatum McKee. Here comes Tatum McKee. Layup, no good. Rebound, Nancy Kelly of the Marlins. Gets it to Brittany Glasgow. She leaves it for Simone Newsom. Back to Glasgow. Katie Tassa is out front to help Glasgow. Here's Sarah Sipe for three. No, short. Rebound, Megan Goodell. Sarah Sipe steals it from her. We have a whistle. And it's on Megan Goodell. Her second, team second of the second half. Paxton Gwynn's coming back into the contest, along with Marquia Beckwith. Tatum McKee will come out, along with Kelsey Smith. Sarah Seip will inbound for the Marlins. To Nancy Kelly, to Brittany Glasgow. Sarah Seip in the corner on a pick and roll to Nancy Kelly. Kelly turns, gets a layup. The Marlins have a one-point lead. Ball inbounded to Marquia Beckwith. Back to Laurel Hankins. Here comes Rachel Delahunt with it now, attempting to reach the front court. Delahunt now in the front court. Picked up by Brittany Glasgow. To Megan Goodell. To Marquia Beckwith on the baseline. Megan Goodell out front. Megan Goodell drives, scores. Nice drive by Megan Goodell. 45-44. Roanoke retakes the lead. Simone Newsom leaves it for Nancy Kelly. Same play they ran last time. 46-45 Marlins as Nancy Kelly gets a layup. 15-16 second half. Coach Dunnigan wants a timeout. And it's a full. We're going to take it. This is Roanoke College women's basketball. I'm Shane Beamer. And I'm Frank Beamer for Stop In Food Store. Hey, Dad, I'm going to grab a hot dog. You want one? Sure. Let me give you... It's okay, Dad. I got this one. This week at Stop In, get two all-beef hot dogs. Only 99 cents. Get some refreshment with a fountain drink. Any size, just 99 cents. Plus, pay only 99 cents for any size coffee, tea, or icy. Now through Sunday only. All Stop In locations have quality branded gasoline. So stop in and fill up today. Shop where Dad and I shop. Stop In Food Stores. See Homer Bass Gymnasium. Score is 46-45, Virginia Wesleyan. As Virginia Wesleyan's Nancy Kelly has their last two baskets. Roanoke has two team fouls in the second half. Virginia Wesleyan has one, and each team now has three timeouts remaining. 15-14 remaining in the second half. When we come back to action here. Paxton Gwynn playing her normal solid game. Tatum McKee has 14 points. Megan Goodell with some big plays in the second half. See who comes back on the court for Roanoke. It's going to be Paxton Gwynn, Rachel Delahunt, Marquia Beckwith, Laurel Hankins, and Megan Goodell. So three of the starters are out there along with Marquia Beckwith and Megan Goodell. Goodell inbounds to Rachel Delahunt. Picked up by Brittany Glasgow. Roanoke in the front court. Marquia Beckwith now with it to Laurel Hankins. Rachel Delahunt on the wing to Laurel Hankins. Five on the shot clock. Hankins turns, draws a foul, almost knocked the goal in. The foul is on Simone Newsom. Her first, team second of the second half. Laurel Hankins will be at the line for two. And checking in for the game for the Marlins is going to be number 32, Cassie Conley. Hankins first is good. Ties the game at 46. 14-53 remaining second half. Cassie Conley comes in the game for Nancy Kelly. Laurel Hankins will have one more. It's out. And the game is tied. Rebound Brittany Glasgow. Rachel Delahunt tips that pass and was almost able to cause a turnover. It comes to Brittany Glasgow. Here's Simone Newsom driving. Whistle. Travel on Simone Newsom. Turnover to Roanoke. 14-41 second half. Coming back into the game for Virginia Wesleyan is number 20. And that's Kelly Jones. Megan Goodell to inbound. Here come Margia Beth Beckwith. And Rachel Delahunt to help her. Beckwith receives the inbound pass. Megan Goodell receives a back pass from Marquia Beckwith. Gets it to Delahunt. Here's Hankins. Fourth. 
for three. Good. Laurel Hankins, 49-46 Maroons. 14-27 remaining second half. Here comes Brittany Glasgow in the front court for the Marlins. Roanoke back on a 2-3 zone defense. Tatum McKee is at the scorer's table for the Maroons. Wesleyan from the baseline. Short, nice rebound underneath from Brittany Glasgow as Roanoke didn't box out that time. Rachel Delahunt now has the ball in bounds, gets it back to Megan Goodell. Megan Goodell is going to bring it in the front court to Rachel Delahunt, to Marquia Beckwith. Inside looking for Megan Goodell. we got a foul on Virginia Wesleyan. And it's on Brittany Glasgow, her second, team third. Tatum McKee checks in for Megan Goodell for Roanoke. Rachel Miller checks in for Virginia Wesleyan for Brittany Glasgow. Tatum McKee is going to inbound the ball for Roanoke. To Paxton Gwynn. She gets a shot off. Off the backboard, no good. Rebound, Paxton Gwynn. Tatum McKee for three. Short. Marquia Beckwith with a nice rebound. She shoots it over everything. Possession Marlins to Rachel Miller. Comes back to Simone Newsom, pressured by Marquia Beckwith. 49-48 Roanoke, 13-30 remaining, second half. Katie Tassa in front court with it. Now to Simone Newsom, to Rachel Miller. Over, Laurel Hankins trying to get the steal, and she commits a foul. Her first. It's going to be the second team foul for the Maroons in the second half. Hannah Ward has checked in the contest for Rachel Delahunt. Simone Newsom is going to inbound the ball for the Marlins right in front of me. Katie Tassa to Rachel Miller. Simone Newsom to Katie Tassa. Rachel Miller now out front. And a three-pointer is good. That's number 20, Kelly Jones, putting the Marlins back ahead, 51-49. Tatum McKee brings it up to Hannah Ward. Hannah Ward drives, leaves the layup short. Out of bounds to the Marlins. Kelsey Smith re-enters the contest for Laurel Hankins. For the Maroons, Katie Tassa is going to inbound the ball for the Marlins. Nancy Kelly and Carrie Leanne Taylor Return to the lineup for the Marlins. And Carrie Leanne Taylor is going to inbound the ball to Rachel Miller. 12.53 remaining second half. 51-49 Marlins. Here comes Rachel Miller against no pressure. Roanoke in his zone. Marquia Beckwith tried to get the wing pass. Simone Newsom back to Rachel Miller. Back to Simone Newsom. To Kelly Leanne Taylor. To Rachel Miller. Rachel Miller out front. Kelly Leanne Taylor takes a three. Long rebound, Marquia Beckwith. Here comes Marquia Beckwith. The Maroons have the ball in the front court. Tatum McKee, Hannah Ward on the wing. Hannah Ward dribbling around, leaves it for Marquia Beckwith. She takes a three. Short rebound off of Hannah Ward. Out of bounds, possession Marlins. Returning to the lineup for the Marlins is number 23, Sarah Seip. In for Simone Newsom. Ball is going to be inbounded by Kelly, K- Carrie Leanne Taylor to Rachel Miller. 12-11 remaining second half. 51-49 Marlins. Here comes Rachel Miller. To Sarah Seip. Picked up by Hannah Ward. Carrie Leanne Taylor in the corner. Back out to Rachel Miller. And there's another three. Long. And that ball is going to be out of bounds. Possession Maroons. That shot was taken by Kelly Jones. And Tatum McKee is going to inbound the ball for the Maroons. Marquia Beckwith, Kelsey Smith, and Hannah Ward stay in the backcourt to help her. Here's Hannah Ward. She's going to dribble through pressure for Tatum McKee. Ball in the front court now for the Maroons. McKee going to the basket. Shoots it too hard. Rebounded Sarah Seip. 51-49. Virginia Wesleyan, 11-40 second half. Here comes Sarah Seip to Carrie Leanne Taylor. We got a walk on Carrie Leanne Taylor. Turnover. Coach Dunnigan's trying to get her club's attention. She wants an offensive set change. Tatum McKee is going to inbound the ball to Hannah Ward. Here comes Hannah Ward. Ball knocked away by Rachel Miller. And it'll be inbounded on the sideline for Roanoke. 
Tatum McKee to do the honors. To Hannah Ward. Hannah Ward's going to bring it up. She's now in the front court. 11.25 remaining second half. Marquia Beckwith on the wing. Kelsey Smith outside out front. To Hannah Ward. She drives. Gets fouled. She was shooting. Fouls on Kelly Jones, her second. Team fourth of the second half. Hannah Ward at the line for the Maroons for two. She can tie the contest. First one. Good. 51-50. 11-16 remaining second half. Hannah Ward will have one more. Second one. Good. Maroons are 13 of 14 from the foul line. This afternoon, game tied at 51. Sarah Seif accepts the inbounds pass and comes up against Marquia Beckwith. Sarah Seif trying to go to the goal, have a whistle and a foul on Marquia Beckwith. That's Marquia Beckwith's first, the fourth team foul on the Maroons in the second half. Marlins to inbound with a fresh shot clock. Sarah Seif's going to inbound on the sideline. She gets it to Rachel Miller. Carrie Leanne Taylor to Rachel Miller. Inside Nancy Kelly against Paxson Gwynn, and she scores. 53-51 Marlins. Hannah Ward trying to bring it in. Turnover. Hannah Ward through an errant pass, and the Wesleyan has it in the front court again. Megan Goodell and Rachel Delahunt are coming to the scorer's table. Rachel Miller with it. Kelly Leanne Taylor fakes the three. Sarah Sipe takes the three over Hannah Ward. Short. Rebound Tatum McKee. Here come the Maroons. Tatum McKee is now in the front court. To Hannah Ward out front. Andrea Profides is at the scorer's table for the Marlins. Hannah Ward drives. Leaves it for Tatum McKee. Short jumper good. Ties the game at 53. 10-11 to go, second half. Rachel Miller bringing it up against Kelsey Smith. And they take it inside against Paxton Gwynn. We have a foul. I think it's going to be on the Maroons. It's going to be on Kelsey Smith. Rachel Delahunt, Megan Goodell, Laurel Hankins back in the contest for the Maroons. Andrea Perfides and Brittany Glasgow back in the game for the Marlins. Sarah Seif is going to inbound the ball. That was Kelsey Smith's first personal foul and the fifth team foul on Roanoke in the second half. 9.57 remaining. Sarah Seif outside to Brittany Glasgow. Picked up by Kelsey Smith to Andrea Perfides inside to Nancy Kelly. Basket and a foul. Nobody picked up Nancy Kelly underneath. Megan Goodell got over late, and it results in a basket and a foul. 55-53 Marlins. Nancy Kelly will have one more. I think that's Megan Goodell's second and the sixth-team foul for Roanoke in the second half. I'm sorry, it's Megan Goodell's third foul. Megan Goodell has three personal fouls. Nancy Kelly makes the foul shot, completing the three-point play. 56-53, Virginia Wesleyan. Rachel Delahunt brings it in the front court. Virginia Wesleyan had some backcourt pressure. 18 on the shot clock. Delahunt to Tatum McKee. Over to Kelsey Smith on the wing. Kelsey Smith tries to drive. We have a whistle. Sarah Seip fouls. Kelsey Smith will have two. That's the second on Sarah Seip and the fifth team foul on the Marlins in the second half. And Kelsey Smith will attempt her first foul shot. 9.34 remaining. Kelsey Smith's first one is good. 56-54 Marlins. Hankins and, and Rachel Delahunt retreat to the backcourt defensively for the Maroons. Kelsey Smith with one more. Second one. No good. Rebound. Tatum McKee tries to go back up. Shot blocked. Tatum McKee hits the deck. Brittany Glasgow has it for the Marlins. All the way to the basket. Short. Rebound Glasgow. Tipped over to Sarah Seif. 
as they get the offensive rebound. Coach Dunnigan not real pleased with that. Carry Leanne Taylor for three. Good. 59-54 Marlins. 9-12 second half. Here comes Kelsey Smith. Great time to take a three off an offensive rebound. Ball knocked away. Again a turnover as Kelsey Smith tried to get it to Rachel Delahunt. And here's an uncontested layup for Sarah Seip. And again, they're keeping the pressure on. Ball inbounded to Kelsey Smith. And we have a whistle. It's going to be Roanoke possession. Inbounded by Tatum McKee. 30 on the shot clock. Paxton Gwynn and Kayla Lemke come in for Kelsey Smith and Tatum McKee. Paxton Gwynn is going to inbound the ball for the Maroons. Score is 61-54 Marlins. 8.48 remaining. Rachel Delahunt receives the inbounds pass against Brittany Glasgow. Rachel Delahunt now in the front court to Megan Goodell. Nice pass and off of Laurel Hankins. Try to lay up too hard off the backboard. Rebound Glasgow. Here she comes. Timeout for Virginia Wesleyan as Brittany Glasgow hit the deck. 61 54, 8 26 remaining. Virginia Wesleyan has two timeouts remaining in the second half for the contest. When we come back to action, it's a 16 fouls for Roanoke and five for Virginia Wesleyan. I believe this was a full timeout, but we're not going to take it now. It's too late. So 61-54, Virginia Wesleyan, 8.26 remaining in the contest. First buzzer is hit. And now the Marlins have retaken the floor. Rachel Delahunt, Megan Goodell, Kayla Lemke, Laurel Hankins, Paxton Gwynn back on the floor for the Maroons. Andrea Profitis to inbound the ball. Roanoke in a 2-3 zone. Delahunt and Lemke out front. Hankins, Gwynn, Goodell in the back. Not sure. We've got a question here at the scorer's table. Virginia Wesley, an assistant coach, is at the scorer's table. There may be a question about the number of timeouts remaining. Twenty-four seconds on the shot clock for the Marlins. We're checking some official scoreboard and scorebook items here. I'm all the way at the far end of the scorer's table, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on now. Both coaches are being called to midcourt. Coach Dunnigan has gone to midcourt. And here comes Coach Dunmire of the Marlins. We don't know if the scoreboard or score book is wrong at this point. And it looks like the officials are in charge of it and they're just giving the information to the coaches. Once again, a reminder uh, for those of you that want to stay tuned for local radio here at Roanoke on the game. The Roanoke men will be playing Shenandoah following this contest. Uh, the Roanoke women play at Hollands on Tuesday night in their final road game. And they have one more home game, Senior Day, next Saturday, 2 p.m. against Bridgewater right here at the Bass Center as they honor Rachel Delahunt and Hannah Davison. Profitis to inbound the ball. Nice inbound pass to Glasgow. Too easy for the Marlins, and Laurel Hankins has fouled Glasgow. That's her second. It's a team seventh on, on Roanoke, so it's going to be a one-and-one one for Glasgow. Actually, I think it's going to be a two-shot foul because she was shooting. So Brittany Glasgow takes her first, and it's good. 62-54 Marlins, 8-24 remaining second half. Glasgow will have one more. It's also good. 63-54 Marlins. Megan Goodell inbounds to Rachel Delahunt. Della Hunt bringing it up against Brittany Glasgow. She is now in the front court. It's a pass to Megan Goodell. Kayla Lemke on the wing. Kayla Lemke back to Megan Goodell. Trying to go inside to Paxton Gwynn. Paxton Gwynn knocked down. We have a whistle. And it's on Carrie Leanne Taylor. It's her second. 
Team sixth team foul for the Marlins this half. 8.07 remaining second half. 63-54. Laurel Hankins takes a three. That makes it 63-57 very quickly as Hankins knocks in a three from the wing. Here comes Brittany Glasgow. We've gone under eight minutes. Second half. Glasgow to Sarah Sight. She drives. Leaves it. And we got a jump ball. Laurel Hankins with nice defense there. Possession Roanoke. Katie Tassa comes back in for Carrie Leanne Taylor for the Marlins. Megan Goodell is going to inbound the ball. 7.50 remaining second half. To Laurel Hankins against Andrea Perfides. Hankins. And there's a foul on Andrea Perfides. And that's going to be the seventh team foul on the Marlins. So Laurel Hankins will have a one and one and can cut into the six point lead. In the contest right now for Roanoke, Kayla Lemke, Paxton Gwynn, Rachel Delahunt, Megan Goodell, and Laurel Hankins. Profites, Simone Newsom, Katie Tassa, Brittany Glasgow, and Kelly Smith are in for Virginia Wesleyan. Hankins first, long, rebound Katie Tassa. Here comes Brittany Glasgow, picked up by Rachel Delahunt. 7.39 remaining second half, 63-57. Simone Newsom, and her two is good from the wing. Paxton Gwynn inbounds quickly for Roanoke to Rachel Delahunt. Paxton Gwynn remains in the backcourt to help Rachel Delahunt. Rachel Delahunt now in the front court. 65-57 Marlins, 7.18 second half. Megan Goodell with the ball on the wing. Trying to go inside Paxton Gwynn. They double-team Gwynn. Simone Newsom knocks the ball away. We have a jump ball here. Possession Marlins. Laurel Hankins and Rachel Delahunt got on the floor. Laurel Hankins slow to get up. Rachel Delahunt and Kayla Lemke help their teammate to her feet. I think Laurel Hankins is a little sore. I think she took a shot on the back or the hip. And I can tell you firsthand that doesn't feel good. Katie Tassa to inbound the ball for the Marlins. 7.06 remaining. She gets it to Brittany Glasgow. 65-57, Marlins eight-point lead. Seven minutes remaining. Glasgow in the front court to Andrea Perfides. She drives and scores. 67-57, Marlins. 6.53, second half. Laurel Hankins with the ball in the backcourt. Here come the Maroons. Laurel Hankins crosses half court. Kayla Lemke. Megan Goodell, drive, trying to leave it for Paxton Gwynn. Whistle, charge on Megan Goodell. That's going to be her fourth. Team foul number eight. Tatum McKee comes back in for Megan Goodell. It's going to be a media timeout of full at this point. 6.35 second half, 67.57 Marlins. Roanoke has three timeouts left. The Marlins have two. Roanoke has committed eight team fouls. The Marlins have committed seven. We're going to take the timeout. This is Roanoke College women's basketball. Mac and Bob's opened for business in 1980. Over the years, we've grown from 10 stools to a full-service restaurant that seats 330 people. Now we invite you to come try our new breakfast menu featuring sweet potato pancakes, eggs benedict, omelets made to order, stuffed French toast, homemade sausage and gravy biscuits, and much more. Open for breakfast Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m., Sunday brunch, 10 a.m. till 2. See you for breakfast at Mac and Bob's in Salem.
As the teams have taken the floor, Tatum McKee, Kelsey Smith, who re-entered the contest, Paxton Gwynn, Rachel Delahunt, Laurel Hankins on the floor for the Maroons. That's their starters. Simone Newsom, Andrea Profitis, Brittany Glasgow, Katie Tassa. And who's the fourth young lady here for the Marlins? That would be Cassie Conley on the floor for the Marlins. And Brittany, Gas- Brittany Glasgow has it in front court against Rachel Delahunt. Nice knock away there by Paxton Gwynn. 67-57 Marlins, 619 remaining. Marlins are going to inbound the ball with 15 on the shot clock. Brittany Glasgow with it. Over to Simone Newsom. Shot clock at eight. Simone Newsom trying to drive on on Kelsey Smith. Leaves it for Andrea Perfides on the baseline and she knocks down a two. 69-57 69-57 Marlins, six minutes remaining. Kelsey Smith receives the ball from Tatum McKee. Gives it back to Tatum McKee. Tatum McKee brings it in the front court for the Maroons. To Laurel Hankins. To Kelsey Smith. To Tatum McKee on the wing. 11 on the shot clock. Tatum McKee starts a drive, leaves it for Laurel Hankins. Paxton Gwynn inside, scores, and is fouled. Nice move again by Paxton Gwynn. Foul's going to be on Simone Newsom. Her second. That's the team eighth. Marquia Beckwith re-enters the lineup for Roanoke for Laurel Hankins. Paxton Gwynn will have one shot at the foul line. Right now it's 69-59. Paxton Gwynn's foul shot is good. Re-entering the lineup for Virginia Wesleyan is Kelly Jones. Score is 69-60, Marlins. 5.32 remaining second half. Katie Tassa to inbound to Andrea Profitis. Back to Brittany Glasgow. Nancy Kelly is at the scorer's table for the Marlins. Brittany Glasgow against Rachel Delahunt. It's it to Jones, over to Perfides, picked up by Marquia Beckwith. And that is an errant pass, out of bounds. Roanoke causes a turnover. Nancy Kelly returns to the lineup for Cassie Conley. Tatum McKee to inbound for the Maroons. Gets it to Rachel Delahunt against Brittany Glasgow. Tatum McKee and Marquia Beckwith stay with Rachel Delahunt to give her help. Now we're in the front court. Paxton Gwynn inside, almost scored again, was fouled. Paxton Gwynn again playing a great game inside on the post. Foul that time is on Andrea Profitis. Her second, Marlins ninth of the, of the second half. This will be a two-shot foul because Paxton Gwynn was shooting. Rachel Miller at the scorer's table for the Marlins. Paxton Gwynn, first foul shot is good. Rachel Miller enters the contest for Brittany Glasgow. Score is now 69-61. Virginia Wesleyan, five minutes even remaining. Paxton Gwynn has one more. She makes the score 69-62. Here come the Marlins. Up court, easy. Layup, no good. Rebound, Rachel Delahunt. The Marlins missed an easy one that time. Rachel Delahunt comes in the front court with the basketball. Tatum McKee now with it. 4.44 remaining. Tatum McKee into Paxton Gwynn. She draws another foul and is just short on another three-point attempt. Sarah Sipe is at the scorer's table for the Marlins. Paxton Gwynn will have two. That is Virginia Wesleyan's 10th team foul of the second half. It's on Andrea Perfides. It's her third. And, the, and Roanoke's going to shoot two foul shots each time now from now on. Carrie Leanne Taylor is also at the scorer's table for the Marlins. Gwynn's first foul shot rims out. Sipe and Taylor in the game for Katie Tassa and Andrea Perfides. Paxton Gwynn has one more foul shot. It is good. 69-63, 4.38 remaining. Marlins ahead. Sarah Seip has the basketball. Gets it to Carrie Leanne Taylor. She comes across half court, picks up her dribble. Gets it back to Sarah Seip. 
19 on the shot clock. Rachel Delahunt picks up Sarah Seip. Rachel Miller against Marquia Beckwith. And here they go, running a weave. They come inside. We got a whistle. And a charge on number 20, Kelly Jones. That's a ball control foul, so it won't be foul shots for the Maroons. That's Kelly Jones' third foul of the contest. Tatum McKee will inbound for the Maroons. 4-14 remaining. 69-63, Virginia Wesleyan. Marquia Beckwith has the basketball for the Maroons. She's now in the front court to Tatum McKee, to Rachel Delahunt on the wing. Tries to get it to Paxton Gwynn, turnover. Pass a little bit too far for Paxton Gwynn to reach. 3.58 remaining, 69-63 Marlins. Looks like Sarah Seip is right in front of me. Carrie Leanne Taylor inbounds the ball to Brittany Glasgow, who's returned to the lineup. Tatum McKee picks up. Now Kelsey Smith picks up Glasgow. Carrie Leanne Taylor picked up by Tatum McKee. Nancy Kelly out front to Rachel Miller. Knocked away by Tatum McKee and stolen. Here comes Tatum McKee. Marquia Beckwith fakes a three, takes a drive. Gwynn scores. Nice pass by Marquia Beckwith in the post to Paxton Gwynn. Basket Maroons, 69-65, 3.26 remaining. Brittany Glasgow with the ball. Timeout Marlins. It's going to be a full. We're going to take it. This is Roanoke College women's basketball. I'm Shane Beamer. And I'm Frank Beamer for Stop In Food Store. Hey, Dad, I'm going to grab a hot dog. You want one? Sure. Let me give you. It's okay, Dad. I got this one. This week at Stop In, get two all-beef hot dogs, only 99 cents. Get some refreshment with a fountain drink. Any size, just 99 cents. Plus, pay only 99 cents for any size coffee, tea, or icy. Now through Sunday only. All Stop In locations have quality branded gasoline. So stop in and fill up today. Shop where Dad and I shop. Stop In Food Stores. Here at Roanoke College, C. Homer Bass Center, 323 remaining, 69-65. Virginia Wesleyan will have the ball in the front court when the contest resumes. They have one timeout left. Roanoke has three. Virginia Wesleyan has committed ten fouls. Roanoke has committed eight. Carrie Leanne Taylor is going to inbound the ball for the Marlins. Coming on the court for the Maroons, the starters. McKee, well, the starters except for Laurel Hankins. McKee, Kelsey Smith, Rachel Delahunt, Paxton Wynn, and Marquia Beckwith. Brittany Glasgow receives the ball from Carrie Leanne Taylor. 19 on the shot clock. Andrea Perfides with it. Inside, ball knocked away by Tatum McKee, taken by Virginia Wesleyan. Nice steal by Tatum McKee. She might get a layup. She does. 69-67, 69-67, Virginia Wesleyan. Three minutes left. Here comes Brittany Glasgow. Front court for the Marlins. To Andrea Profitis. We got a foul. Going to be on Roanoke. Going to be a two-shotter. Marquia Beckwith commits the foul. That's her second, and it's the 19th foul on the Maroons. It's going to be a two-shot foul because the official said so. So Andrea Perfides is going to be at the line for the Marlins. First one, good. 70 to 67 Marlins, 252 second half. Second one, off, rebound. Rachel Delahunt, nice hustle. We're going to have a jump ball. Possession, Roanoke. Great hustle as the rebound went long and behind everybody, and Rachel Delahunt out-hustled everybody to the corner and got her mitts on that basketball. Here comes Tatum McKee to Kelsey Smith. Kelsey Smith being helped by Tatum McKee in the backcourt against Sarah Seip. Kelsey Smith now in the front court to Rachel Delahunt on the wing to Tatum McKee to Marquia Beckwith. 2.36 remaining. Marquia Beckwith drives, draws a foul. Two-shot foul. 
It's on Andrea Perfides. It's going to be her fourth. Marquia Beckwith will be at the line, and she's got two shots. 2.34 remaining. First one from Beckwith. Long. She'll have one more. Beckwith now with her second. Short bounces in. 70 to 68. 234 remaining. Marlins lead. Brittany Glasgow has the basketball. They're now in the front court. To Carrie Leanne Taylor. To Andrea Perfides. Carrie Leanne Taylor. She walked. Nice jump out by Tata McKee, forcing that turnover. 219 remaining in the contest. KD Tassa returns to the contest for the Marlins. Tatum McKee is going to inbound the ball for the Maroons on the sideline. To Rachel Delahunt against Brittany Glasgow. To Tatum McKee, Marquia Beckwith on the baseline. Tatum McKee out front, 205 remaining. Kelsey Smith, baseline three is going to be long. Rebound, Brittany Glasgow. We got a jump ball, going to be a possession. Marlins, 157 remaining. Marlins will get the basketball on their own baseline, leading 70 to 68. Katie Tassa to inbound to Brittany Glasgow. Roanoke backs off and gets in a zone. Kelsey Smith is going to pick up Brittany Glasgow right on this side of half court. Glasgow trying to drive. Draws a foul. It'll be a two-shotter. It's on Paxton Gwynn. Her second. That's a tenth team foul for Roanoke, so each foul shot, each team now with Two foul shots on each foul unless it's offensive and ball control. Brittany Glasgow at the line for Virginia Wesley. And first one good. 71-68 Marlins. 139 remaining. Second one. No good. Rebound. Tatum McKee. Here comes Roanoke. Tatum McKee knocked down and fouled. She'll have two foul shots. Fouls on Katie Tassa. That's her third. Laurel Hankins returns to the contest for the Maroons after this first foul shot. I imagine she's going to replace Marquia Beckwith, but we'll see. <clears throat> McKee's first one. Good. 71-69, Hankins returns to the lineup for Beckwith. 135 remaining. Tatum McKee will have one more. Second one for McKee. Long. Rebound, Nancy Kelly of the Marlins. 71-69, a minute and a half remaining. Brittany Glasgow has the ball in the backcourt. Kelsey Smith picks her up. 120 remaining. 16 on the shot clock. Sarah Seip to Andrea Profiti's basket. They ran a, a they ran a pick and roll play from the other side, and Andrea Profiti's got a layup. Here comes Tatum McKee. Long rebound to the Marlins. Timeout, Roanoke. 73-69, 106 remaining. It's a full timeout. We're going to take it. This is Roanoke College women's basketball. Join the team and support Roanoke College student-athletes. As a Maroon Club member, you can support the young men and women who represent the college on its athletic teams, in its intramurals, and on club sports. You'll get athletic and recreational team news straight from the coaches. Be invited in club events and receive an official Maroon Club decal. For more information, visit www.roanoke.edu slash maroonclub and become a member of the Maroon Club today. 
Welcome back to see Homer Bass Gymnasium, 73-69 Marlins. The Marlins will inbound the ball from underneath their defensive goal and play resumes. Roanoke has two timeouts remaining. Virginia Wesleyan has one. Both teams have committed 10 team fouls. Waiting for the team to retake the court. During the timeout, Kelly Jones and Cassie Conley return to the contest for the Marlins. Marquia Beckwith return to the contest for the Maroons. And Katie Tassa inbounds the ball to Brittany Glasgow. Triple teamed immediately. Jump ball. Possession Roanoke. Roanoke able to force an immediate turnover. And now we're going to go offense defense as Laurel Hankins comes in the game for Marquia Beckwith. 103 remaining. Nancy Kelly comes in the game for the Marlins. And Sarah Sipe comes in the game for Virginia Wesleyan. Tatum McKee to inbound. 103 remaining. to Rachel Delahunt. We're down to a minute. Tatum McKee, Paxton Gwynn. Rachel Delahunt drives, leaves a pass, throws it away. Nancy Kelly gets the turnover. Brittany Glasgow loses the ball out of bounds off a tap from Kelsey Smith. Marlins retain possession. 46.9 remaining. Brittany Glasgow. With the ball in the backcourt. Now she gets it to the front court to Andrea Perfides. Back to Glasgow. 36 seconds remaining. Pa- blocked by Paxton Gwynn. Rachel Delahunt went after it, couldn't get it. Now we got a foul. Tatum McKee committed the foul on the Maroons. That's her second. It'll be a two-shot foul for Andrea Perfides. 28 and a half seconds remaining. Marquia Beckwith at the scorer's table. First one from Perfides is good. Beckwith is going to replace Kelsey Smith. Seventy-four, sixty-nine, Marlins. Graffiti's second shot, also good. 75-69, Marlins. Paxton Gwynn inbounds. She throws a balloon pass, trying to get it to Tatum McKee. Sarah Sipe got it. Della Hunt took it away from Sarah Sipe and dribbled it out of bounds. 24.7 remaining. 75-69, Marlins. Marlins possession in their backcourt. Katie Tassa to inbound. Timeout, Virginia Wesleyan. That's all of their timeouts. And it's a full timeout, so we're going to take it. This is Roanoke College women's basketball. And we're back, 24.7 remaining, 75-69. Virginia Wesleyan. On the court for Roanoke, Marquia Beckwith, Rachel Delahunt, Laurel Hankins, Paxton Gwynn, Tatum McKee. Virginia Wesleyan possession, Katie Tassa the inbound.
And it goes to Brittany Glasgow, and she's fouled. Kelsey Smith at the scorer's table. Foul on Marquia Beckwith. That's her fourth. I apologize, that was her third. Third personal. Brittany Glasgow at the line for Virginia Wesleyan for two. 22.8 remaining. First one. No good. Kelsey Smith checks into the contest. Brittany Glasgow will have one more. It's good. Timeout, Roanoke. They'll have one left. It's going to be a full. That's all they have left. So we're going to take this one. This is Roanoke College women's basketball. Teams are retaking the floor in the game for Roanoke. Laurel Hankins, Paxton Gwynn, Kelsey Smith, Rachel Delahunt, Tatum McKee. The starters are going to finish it. Katie Tassa, Andrea Perfidi, Sarah Seip, Nancy Kelly, and Brittany Glasgow return to the court for the Marlins. Hankins to inbound. To Rachel Delahunt. Into the front court. Inside, Paxton Gwynn. Around, can't score. Nancy Kelly rebounds, and she's fouled. Foul is on Rachel Delahunt. Her second, 13 and a half seconds remaining. Nancy Kelly will be at the foul line for two for the Marlins. First one. Good. 77-69, Virginia Wesleyan. Second one from Nancy Kelly. Long, rebound, Tatum McKee. Tatum McKee brings it in the front court. Kelsey Smith to Tatum McKee. McKee launches a three, in and out. Rebound, Virginia Wesleyan. Coach Dunnigan says no more fouls, and that's it. 77-69, Virginia Wesleyan is the final. We're going to have final stats in just a moment. Because there's a men's game after this game, there will be no interview with Coach Dunnigan. We'll talk to her next Saturday after the Bridgewater contest. This is Roanoke College women's basketball. And we're back with final stats. Andrea Perfides, 4 of 6 from the field, 3 of 4 from the line, 2 rebounds, 11 points, 4 fouls. Rachel Miller didn't score, didn't foul, 3 defensive rebounds. Nancy Kelly, 6 of 8 from the field, 3 of 5 from the line, 4 rebounds, 1 foul, 15 points. Kerry Leanne Taylor, 3 of 7 from the field, 3 of 6 from 3-point range, 9 points, 2 fouls. Brittany Glasgow, 5 of 9 from the field, 0 of 2 from 3, 4 of 6 from the line, 6 rebounds, 2 fouls, 14 points. Katie Tassa, 1 of 2 from the field, 2 rebounds, 3 fouls, 2 points. Simone Newsom, 2 of 3 from the field, 0 of 1 from 3, 4 rebounds, 4 points, 2 fouls. Kelly Jones, 1 for 7 from the field, 1 of 4 from 3, 3 fouls, 3 points. Sarah Sipe, 7 of 13 from the field, 3 of 7 from 3. 
two, uh, six rebounds, two fouls, 17 points. Ca- Cassie Conley, one of two from the field, one rebound, one foul, two points. Virginia Wesleyan was 30 of 60 for 50%, 7 of 24 from three, which is 29.2%, 10 of 15 to the line, 66.7%. And a total of 77 points. Laurel Hankins for Roanoke. Five of eight from the field. Three of three from three-point range. One of three from the line. Two rebounds. Two fouls. 14 points. Paxton Gwynn. Five of nine from the field. Zero of two from three. Six of seven from the line. Eight rebounds. 16 points. Two fouls. Rachel Delahunt. One of three from the field. Five rebounds. Two fouls. Four points. Two of two from the line for Delahunt. Kelsey Smith. One of three from the field. Zero of one from three-point range. One of two from the line. One foul, three points. Tatum McKee, seven of 16 from the field. One of four from three, four, five from the line. Seven rebounds, two fouls, 19 points. Kayla Lemke, two of two from the field. One rebound, one foul, four points. Markia Beckwith, one of four from the field. One of two from the line. Two rebounds, three fouls, three points. Hannah Ward, Two of two from the line, 0 of three from the field, no fouls, two points. Megan Goodell, one of three from the field, zero of one from three point range, one rebound, four fouls, two points. Deara Wilson did not score. Anna Carter, two of two from the line, two points. Roanoke had 69. They shot 23 for 50, which is 46%. Four of 13 from three for 30.8%, and 19 of 25 from the foul line for 76%. Once again, very quickly, on the road Tuesday at Hollins College, here next Saturday for the senior day, the final, against Bridgewater at 2 p.m. That drops Roanoke's record to, let's see, 5-9 and nine and 9-14 nine and 14 overall. Virginia Wesleyan improves to 10-4 and four in the league and 15-8 and eight overall. That's going to do it for us. This has been Roanoke College Women's Basketball.